Are we ready to go? Okay. 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 Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welter, who wird nice said ja herat. Thank you for turning into Radio OFM on 101.5 MHz, a source for real music in Finland. My name is Selector Dubrook from the record label and sound Dubflash Records out of Berlin, Germany. This show is called Dubmesh and it is what a surprise about dub music. If you're familiar with this music style, then relax and enjoy. If you don't know what dub is, then don't worry. During tonight's show and during the next shows as well, I will tell you plenty of info about it. In any case, the best way of describing dub music is by just playing some. So without long words, I will start right away with two classic Jamaican dubs from the 70s, the time and place where this music was born.
was away from Africa on a rocking ship. Then brought us to Jamaica in the valley of Du Asoka. These were two tracks from the album Megawatt Dub by two masterminds of dub and reggae music, King Tubby and Lee Scratch Perry. Both are claimed to be the inventors of dub music, however, this is up to personal preferences. In my opinion, the originator of the style is someone who is hardly ever mentioned at all when speaking about this music, Ruddy Redwood, great name, who ran the Ruddy Supreme sound system in Spanish town in Jamaica in the late 60s. He started to produce special remixes of existing reggae songs strictly for his own sound system. These remixes were called versions, and that is what dub basically means, an instrumental version of a vocal reggae song. Dub music has almost died out in Jamaica during the 80s. At that time it swapped over to Europe, mainly England. Current dub music is mostly European music, and this will be the focus of my show. Current dub music with its different shapes and styles. And of course I want to point out, dub is reggae, and reggae is dub. dub, 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 dub.
That was Dub Creator featuring Sister Nadia from a forthcoming Dub Flash release, Dub Shoe Episode 2, Attack of the Babylonians. It showed the traditional way of producing dub music. First you have the original vocal reggae tune, and then the instrumental rhythm will be played and a lot of effects, especially echoes and delays, are used to spice up the version. At the moment it is very common in the European reggae scene to release vinyls which have several versions of one rhythm on it. For example, one male and one female singer, one DJ version, and in that case a reggae DJ is equivalent to an MC in rap music, which basically means that someone is some kind of sing speaking over the rhythm and one dub version. An example for this is the Nyaman 10 inch on Deep Root. Never gonna sell out my 
The way I play it with four tunes now is the way how dubbed and reggae music is mainly selected on reggae parties, the so-called dances. The selector plays the different kind of versions, sometimes until, sometimes interrupted before the end. There's usually only one record player used, so there's no mixing of the music. Instead, effect gear is used extensively, for example sirens and echo machines. Furthermore, there's one DJ, which means MC, who fills the music-free gaps with conscious speeches. This DJ is also the one who can add some improvised lyrics to the plain dub version. This can sound then like this. Lovely vibe, you know. Super! King David sound a player would pick up all the righteous people. All the lovely people. Top flesh! Right about now, don't pipe or take over, you know. The man called don't pipe in MC.
I'll sit it in the seats of the scornful Nice tune Mighty Massa from Japan Pollution is the title taken from a live recording of the last dub flash dance in my hometown Berlin alongside King David sound system Enough respect to brother David You will learn more about the way of selecting dub music as well as the different kind of releases and dub styles during the next shows, don't worry and remember, welcome back. You're still tuning in to Dub Flash Dub Mesh here on Radio IFM 101.5. There's 30 more minutes to come, and I have some more nice dub tunes for you, and I hope you will like them. By now, you may have recognized already two of the main dub styles by listening to the previous songs. The more slower style, which perhaps sounds more familiar if you heard Bob Marley or some other popular reggae songs. Like 10cc Sunshine Reggae or Inner Circles Bad Boys, I bet you know that. This style is called One Drop, one drop it has drop, a bass drum and snare drum hit only on the third note. Another style, my favorite style, is called Steppers. Step, 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 there, step. you have a bass drum on 1, 2, 3 and 4, just like in techno music. That style is especially working good on a huge reggae sound system. On a really heavy sound, you can even get pressure on your ears, like in a plane because of a massive bass which is pushed through the air. Nice! Here's a direct compare of One Drops and Steppers, both brand new tunes from the latest of forthcoming releases.
wicked stuff, isn't it? Exactly my type of music. I love it, really. The first tune was a yet unnamed tune from the next Dubflash release. The artist is Intergalactic Sound and they are from Finland. Terrific tune. The heavy heavy stepper that followed afterwards is called A Brighter Future with some outstanding keyboard skanks performed by Croatia's finest radical dub collective and released on Universal A. If your stereo could handle that bass, then you have a good stereo. I actually wonder if some of the crazy car drivers of yours who drove around the city now playing their tune on the hardcore car systems with triple subwoofers, bass rolls and so on. Wall shaking for sure. Of course, dub music doesn't have to be heavyweight all the time. In fact, there's a lot of chill out dub music out there for floating minds or drifting spirits, daydreaming and such. One of my favorite dubs is of such kind to be honest. It's called Backwater Dub from 100th Monkey. Now following, I will play the purple pineapple mix of it.
Pure niceness, sex for your ears, charming, beautiful. You don't need to consume drugs when listening to such music, right? The music is the drug itself. Well, thinking of that, I must be high 90% of my life. High on dub, you know. Possibly the most addictive drug on earth. Luckily, it's legal. <laughs> There's someone outside of the recording room right now who taps his forehead. Does that indicate that he thinks I'm nuts? Well, maybe I stab him with a mic after the show. <laughs> Now he's gone, okay. Well, anyway, let's play some more dub music before it gets too weird. joy and happiness shall flow across the universe as the waters cover the sea. God, peace and love must cover this earth.
just uh, put your record on and you put fire away. Reggae music, best by any test. Yes, yes, yes. It was Sweden's finest export, except for porno films. Social living sounds with a praising of the Lord, Hail Ja! To be found on the dub flash release, Hardcore Dub. If you like this music, then check out www.dubflash.com in the internet. You'll find the info about our activities, releases and hundreds of reviews. There's also an extra page where you can find info about this radio show, including playlists and so on. Check out also www.oifm.fi for many other interesting radio shows, archives of the shows, information and so on. And well, that's pretty much it for tonight's show, I think. That was the first dub mesh ever. I hope that you found my little introduction to dub music amusing. And if so, I hope that you tune in next Monday again at 8 p.m. Finnish time. That is GMT plus 2 for all international listeners who are using the online stream. My name is Selector Dubrock and I love Dub. Good night. Be very good.